the Oracle Database world. This is Justin, and in this Oracle Database video YouTube tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple job using the uh, Oracle Database internal, internal scheduler. Now, the Oracle Database has an internal scheduler called um, DBMS underscore scheduler, and it's implemented via the DBS underscore scheduler package, PLSQL package. Um, Oracle Database um, when you create an Oracle database, you create a bunch, there's a bunch of PLSQL packages which come with the Oracle database software bundle by default. They're written by the Oracle Corporation. And these PLSQL packages allow you to do certain things in an Oracle database. They can be thought of as utilities. Um, PMS underscore scheduler replaced the DBS, DBMS underscore job package in, uh, I believe, Oracle database version 10G. Uh, so from 10G on, it's no longer DBS underscore, DBMS underscore job, it's DBMS underscore scheduler. And the scheduler package is way, is much more, uh, has much more flexibility, much more options than the job scheduler. Okay. Um, the scheduler is like, it's just like uh, BMC, BMC software's control M or Zeek Zeb, which is a scheduler on the mainframe or, um, uh, cron on a Unix or Linux based systems or uh, even auto sysk on Unix or Linux based systems. Uh, the, the, those are schedulers uh, that run on different platforms from, from various vendors and Oracle database, the internal scheduler is way more advanced than Unix than the Unix cron scheduler, which is by default. So if you have a Unix or Linux system and you're using the um, cron scheduler, that's good for just running like a shell script or a program like um, every Friday of every month or every weekday or something like that. But if you wanted to get a more detail, such as you wanted to create job chains, uh, which are uh, and prereqs saying that this job can't run unless this job runs, and I want this job to run on this server and on this database, and I want this. If you wanted to get more involved every other Monday or only on Sundays when billing has occurred, you know. There's certain things you can do to trigger a job, and if you and the uh, if you need to get more granular with your job scheduling and more specific with your job scheduling, so if you needed to schedule something to run, like a program to run unattended on a Unix system, but you needed to get more in depth, more specific with your scheduler with your scheduling of that program, other than run every Friday, then you would um, purchase a, a more advanced scheduler such as. Uh, and not cron, but you would, you, would, you would purchase a control M or you would purchase Zeke Zeb or auto Sys or something along those nature. Uh, IBM even has a product, I believe, called typically workload scheduler. OK. So um, but the uh, scheduler that comes with the Oracle database, no extra charge is actually a um, you don't need another license or anything for it. And it's a um, it's a pretty enterprise type. It's an enterprise type scheduler. OK, so you can actually do a lot with it. And here I'll show you, uh, we'll, uh, we'll create a procedure, which is a stored piece of PLSQL code in the database. And then we'll execute it manually to show you what it does. And then we'll have the scheduler run it for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and set our Oracle SID to finance. So we'll set that properly. Okay, Oracle underscore SID is our variable. And let's connect to our finance database via the SQL plus program user to ensure we're connected as a SysDBA user and we type in the select name from the dollar sign database to ensure we're connected to the finance database. Now as I said before the scheduler is implemented with a package called DBMS scheduler and uh, by convention all PLSQL packages which come with, or utilities if you want to call them which come with the Oracle database software start with DBMS database management system. And this right here shows you all the procedures that are in this package. Okay, so here's a procedure. Uh, submit remote external job. Uh, stop job. Okay, it's show errors. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, different procedures in the DBMS underscore scheduler package, which you can use. Now, as I mentioned before, DBMS job was the old scheduler prior to 10G, I believe, um, but it is still... Um, the DBMS job package is still um, still exists 
and the latest version of Oracle Database 11.2 um, because, uh, for backward compatibility reasons. There could be uh, customers who still have jobs scheduled using uh, use that the schedule set them up when the DBMS uh, underscore job package was the scheduler. Okay, but now you want to use DBMS underscore scheduler. So let's go ahead and let's create something that we want to run on an automated basis every night. Now this is a like, this is a very basic example, but you would probably have something more advanced like the billing of a company, you know, um, um, or a report that where you want to let's say an executive calls and says, "Hey, I want to run a report against the financial database of the company that um, that sums up all the earnings for that week, and I want that to run every week Sunday at, at 8 p.m. or something like that." Okay, you can do that with the schedule, so you don't have to log in manually and run that and run those SQL statements to generate that report against the database every day. Oh, I mean every week. Okay, you just have Oracle do it for you automatically, and you just check to see that it's running. Okay, so with that said, we need something to do. There is a table called names that I created already in this database, and the table is in the sys schema. And here's the structure of the names table. Okay, we have one column F name with data type var card two. Now, if we select asterisk from names we will see that there are no rows in this table. So there's no data populated in this table. So to insert data, we could do this, insert into names values, Justin. So we inserted a row Justin into the table names. Select asterisk from names. And we'll see that this table names now has um, a, a row, Justin. Okay, well, we're gonna delete it here. But um, that's that can be annoying if I have to do that every night. Let's say for some, let's say I have to insert that every night for whatever reason to a table. I can log on and do that every night, log into the database and do that every night. But maybe I want the Oracle database scheduler to do it for me. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, there's a lot of ways to schedule jobs here. So I'm going to show you a very basic way. Okay. Um, this right here is I'm going to create, I'm going to first. Uh, create a procedure, okay, and I'll show, I'll, show, I'll show you what I mean. Create or replace procedure insert names as begin insert into names values justin and semicolon forward slash. Now, to learn more about what um, what I'm doing with the create or replace procedures command, check out my SQL plus uh, procedure PLSQL uh, videos on YouTube where I discuss that. Okay, but basically what I did was I uh, what I did here was I was I created a named procedure, a named PLSQL block. So this is a program now. Insert names is a program which is written in the PLSQL language, kind of like, which has some SQL in it as well which is the Oracle database um, line, uh, programming language, and the code, which is the program, is stored in the database itself, in the data dictionary, okay? And what it does, what this program does when you when it runs is it executes this SQL statement. It, it inserts the value Justin, the row Justin, into the names table, just like we did manually up here. So if I were to type in EXEC, which is uh, short for execute, and I were to type in the name of the PLSQL procedure, insert names, which means I'm executing this procedure, okay, PLSQL procedure successfully completed. And if I were to do it three times, and then do select asterisk from names, I will see I have three rows in this table because I executed my PLSQL procedure three times, which inserts that row into the table, okay? If I want to use my truncate command, get rid of that data, because I'm now gonna now that I have the program created, the PLSQL procedure, I'm going to go ahead and um, create create a job in the scheduler so Oracle can do it with that auto, in an automated fashion without human intervention. So I'm gonna type in begin and I'm gonna execute the D, the um, create job procedure in the DBMS package. So I'm gonna say begin DBMS scheduler dot create job remember dbms underscore scheduler is the plsql package name and then dot after the dot is the procedure in the package so create underscore job is the um 
procedure in the DBMS scheduler package. Okay. So create job, and we got to give the job. Uh, we have to we have to set, um, give it a few attributes here. The okay, so first thing we're going to say is job underscore name equal, and then um, greater than sign like an arrow, and then in single quote we're going to call this job insert into names one. That's our job job name. Okay. Then we're going to give it a job type, which is going to be procedure. So this tells the scheduler what type of job this is. Okay. Job action will be insert names. Okay, so basically this is doing an execute insert names like we did up here. Execute insert names. That's what action is. Action is what PLSQL command do you want to run? What SQL plus command do you want to run? Okay, that, that's what action means in the scheduler um, package here. Now, start date. I could put any date and time. I could say two weeks from now, a year from now, and it will run. But I'm gonna, just going to type in sysdate. And what sysdate tells the scheduler package is I want this job to run immediately. Okay. And I type in enabled true, like so. like so and I type in auto underscore drop false like so okay now these last two attri um, um, attributes here are very important because when you create a job using the DB using the, the DBMS scheduler package okay create job uh, procedure in the DBMS underscore scheduler package the job is automatically disabled by default so you would so if you just created it without without specifying enabled true it would create the job but you would have to um, make the job enabled manually okay um, also the auto underscore drop false attribute is also very imperative because by default the DBMS underscore scheduler behavior create um, DBMS underscore scheduler dot create underscore job uh, procedure behavior is to drop the job, delete it from the job table. And a job table are all the jobs that are um, defined in an Oracle database to run. Okay, so by default, the job doesn't run, it's, it's disabled. And also by default, it drops the job as soon as the job runs. But we want, to, we want it to run automatically to show you here. And we also don't want to drop it because we want to show you the job when we're done, the, um, the job in the, in the table. Okay, so with that, just be able to do end, and we should be able to do uh, forward slash. PLSQL procedure successfully completed. Now, if we do insert into names, sorry, select asterisk from names, bam, we will see that Justin, that the Justin row is in there. Okay, and remember, we truncated it before we ran our job. So, select asterisk from names shows that there are no rows in the names table. But since we created our job and we said sys date for start date, which means run immediately, okay, it um, all right, it ran, and what the job did was it it ran this this procedure insert into names one, which basically um, inserts a row into the names table, okay, a row Justin, all right, and if we type in select job underscore name from job underscore name, type in, I mean, comma, state from DBA scheduler jobs where job name underscore name is equal to insert into names one. Oops. We will see that the scheduler that that the Oracle knows about this job insert into names one and then it succeeded and we know it succeeded because we have a value in the names table okay that's how you create a job in uh, using the dbms underscore scheduler package thank you